Hello my dear friends, welcome to Infigyan. In this very very exciting video of algebraic challenging equations, here we are going to solve one very interesting equation x power 7 minus 1 over x power 5 equal to 0. As you can see, x is in the denominator, so x equal to 0 is not allowed. That means I can multiply both sides with x power 5. So let's multiply both sides with x power 5. So I will write x power 7 minus 1 over x power 5 equal to 0 times x power 5. So ultimate equation will come out x power 12 minus 1 equal to 0. This equation we are supposed to find out roots for this particular equation. Now I will solve using algebra. See using complex number it is quite easier if you will see. Let's apply algebra only. So I am going to write x power 12 as x power 6 whole square and this 1 I will write 1 square. Using the exponent property that is a power b whole power c it is equal to a power b times c. So 6 times 2 12. Now difference of a square formula. a square minus b square. We know that it is a plus b times a minus b. So let's apply. I will write this one as x power 6 plus 1. In one bracket x power 6 minus 1 equal to 0. Now I will solve both the brackets separately. So because of this product equal to 0, we can write either x plus 6, x power 6 plus 1 equal to 0 or x power 6 minus 1 equal to 0. So we will solve 1 by 1. Let me take the first case first. So x power 6 plus 1 equal to 0. How we will proceed? Again we will write this one as x square whole cube plus 1 whole cube. Now third algebraic identity will come that is a cube plus b cube. It is equal to a plus b times a square plus b square minus ab. So let's apply here. I will write a plus b. So x square plus 1. Okay. Now in second bracket I will write a square. So x square whole square x power 4 plus b square. So 1 minus ab. So minus x square equal to 0. From this equation product we can write. Let me write here x square plus 1 equal to 0. So I will write x square is equal to minus 1. And you know in complex number i is equal to square root of minus 1 or i square is equal to minus 1. A square is negative so obviously complex solution is about to come. So I will write x square is equal to i square that means x is equal to plus minus i. Okay. Now let's take the second equation. Now let's consider this equation, quartic equation. I will write x power 4 minus x square plus 1 equal to 0. x power 4 minus x square plus 1 equal to 0. So it is quadratic in x square. So I can write x square is equal to. It is quadratic in x square. So if you want to write give substitution, you can give substitution also. So minus b minus b so 1 plus minus square root b square minus 4ac over 2a. So I will write 1 plus minus square root negative 3. So I will write i times square root 3 over 2. Okay so this is your complex solution. So if you want to convert in complex number you can write it is e raised to the power plus minus i pi by 3. This is we can write plus minus i pi over 3. So x will come out 
take square root both sides from here we will collect four solutions okay or you can write simply take a square roots both sides so i will write x is equal to plus minus square root of 1 plus minus i root 3 over 2 simple in terms of e you can write plus minus e power plus minus i pi over 6 okay so here we are having four solutions earlier we calculated two complex solution plus minus i so so far we have calculated six solutions let me write here x is equal to plus minus i that was our first solution and see this is our four complex solutions so total six complex solutions so far now come to equation number two that was x power 6 minus 1 equal to 0. Now we are going to solve this equation. It is comparatively easier. How we will write this one? Again whole square the difference of two squares. x cube whole square minus 1 whole square. So difference of square a plus b. So I will write x cube plus 1 a minus b x cube minus 1. Now again a cube plus b cube. So I will write a plus b a square plus b square minus ab. And from second x cube minus 1 bracket we can write a minus b a square plus b square plus ab. So here we are having four roots. Okay. So two roots are clearly visible. So I will write x plus 1 equal to 0. So x is equal to minus 1. One first real solution. Now second bracket. This bracket I am taking. x minus 1 equal to 0. So x is equal to 1. Now there are two quadratic equations. Now we have to find out solution. So either I can write only once. Let me write in this pattern. x square minus x plus 1 equal to 0 it was x square plus x plus 1 equal to 0 so in totality i can write x square plus minus x plus 1 equal to 0 or you can solve separately also let's solve it so i will consider x square plus minus x plus 1 equal to 0 Let's apply quadratic formula. So x is equal to minus b. So I will write minus b. If it is plus then minus. If it is minus then plus. So I will write minus plus 1. Plus minus under the root b square. So b square is e square will be positive. Minus 4ac. So negative 4. Over 2a. So 2. I will write minus plus 1 plus minus square root of negative 3 i square root 3 over 2. So here we are having four solutions. You can see once I will take plus sign then accordingly plus minus is there. If I you are taking minus sign then plus minus is there for the second plus minus. So you can write this one as a solution. So I can write in this manner also. It doesn't matter because we have to consider all the four solutions. It's straight away simple. Okay. So there are total. How many solutions are there? Total 12. We have calculated. And this is how we will proceed this question. Using algebra only. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video.